So here's uh, my grassland terrain tutorial using um, fake fur to create this uh, really long, tall grass effect on the build. So I made this one a little modular too, so you can take either choose to make it uh, a multi-level terrain or you can have like a flat surface. I even put in a little watering hole in there. I used hot glue to kind of just uh, create the glittery water effect. It's funny because it actually created like these bubbles that worked really well with uh, the hot glue. That was unintentional, but it was a nice little accident. And if you don't want that watering hole, you can still just cover it. So and uh, here's a second one that I made. So it's really easy. It's just um, foam, and you just uh, put on usual like fake fur. Just cut it to fit and uh, put it on. Paint it as much as you want, or paint it as little as you want, depending on the types of shades that you want. And um, pretty easy. And Really, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun way to add longer grass to your builds. Okay, first things first, uh, just cut out a bunch of random sh shapes for the terrain. Something like that, I guess. You just hot glue it together. So you have like multiple level terrain. Same here. This I'm going to keep separate so I can make it modular. I can take it all and off. That way if I want a flat surface or something that's a little bit more layered. That way I have options depending on what kind of campaign I want to run. So I, after I cut off a lot of the bits in the corners, on the edges, to get rid of all the straight lines to make it a little bit more organic looking, I have all these bits that I have left over. I like to kind of glue them in the, the seams to make it, to make those seams kind of go away, to make uh, it a little bit more rocky looking less rigid, less uh, linear. Since I have all this uh, junk foam anyway, might as well make good use of it. it. It looks like just random rocks, especially when they're painted. So it looks great so far. Basically the foam, and I just made it multi-layer rocky terrain. And all the little bits and pieces that I cut off with the uh, big knife, I kind of stuck in between the edges here to cover up uh, the layering and I create this uh, rocky effect too. Same here. And I didn't hot glue this together because I want this to come off. 
depending on what I want. I want this to be just a flat grassy surface or something that's a little bit more layered. So it's, it's nice to have options, especially when you don't want to have too many of these laying around when you can make them multi-purpose. So next step is basically just to go get the fake fur and slap it on top and make it look like it's long grassland. All right? Enjoy. So I have this uh, swatch of fake fur, so I'm just going to cut it to fit. Well, this is a big horrendous mess, so right now all the fur is kind of clumping, just the same way it did with the, the spray paint, but not as bad. So I just tease it with my uh, handy skewer stick here, kind of uh, separate the strands a little bit. and. It's good too when they dry, kind of sticking up, make it look kind of uh, an insane looking grass, tall grass terrain, kind of uh, make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more mysterious when you have something lurking in the grass somewhere, make it nice and tall. And it's great when they dry, kind of sticking up like this. Kind of just teasing here like you're in the 90s. You know, spray some Aquanet here and there and then just tease it as high as you can. So this is what I have so far. The basic uh grass land terrain but the only difference I'm doing is I made the grass out of uh, fake fur so essentially it was this insulation foam and then I put uh, this fake fur that I had laying around and essentially just painted it black and now I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna flock it and see how it comes out I'm actually thinking of since this is more modular I'm thinking of maybe digging out a little uh, watering hole here and use hot glue to kind of just glob it on top to make it look like some sort of water. So I'm going to try that out. If anything else, if it doesn't work out, I can always just cover it up with the, this modular build that I made. Okay. Enjoy.
So this is what I have so far. This is uh, the modular tiles for grassland terrain using uh, fake fur. So kind of make this a little bit more modular, kind of try to change it up, whether you want a watering hole in the middle or a multi-level um, terrain build. There's another one that I made. So I'm going to put more uh, different green uh, shades of green and shades of yellow on the fake fur grassland to make it a little less uh, vibrant. And I'm going to put hot glue pools up here to kind of simulate water and then paint it blue. And uh, do some flocking and that's pretty much it. And I still have that uh, little watering hole hot glue still drying. It's pretty much solid now, so I can probably paint it eventually. I, there is like this bubbling effect that I didn't know was going to happen, but I kind of like it. So kind of like a happy accident. Well, it looks like I overdid it a little bit. Wipe it. Wipe it. Wipe it. Wipe it. Wipe it. Wipe Move it around to make it seem a little bit more trampled as opposed to just kind of a unified layer of grass that never really happens in nature. After weeks of traveling through the tall grasslands, Trader Jonas, hungry and thirsty, finally found himself a watering hole. However, it's guarded by a rock golem, and he doesn't look like he's ready to share. Roll for initiative. 